Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we have prepared an amazing video where we're going to learn how we can use our plugin with WooCommerce membership to build a private shop similar to Privalia, where the products are only accessible to members, in this case all the users that register to our site, while the non-members will only have access to the homepage in the sign-up area so they can access the whole product catalog. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Ok guys, this is the homepage of our site. In the background, as you can see, there is the main image and if we scroll down, we can find this message. This week we have special offers of and below these different brand images. Now, if I scroll back up, over here in the menu, we can also find the link to our shop, which right now is available to all users, so anyone that accesses this site will be able to see all the products. Now, the result that we want to achieve in today's tutorial is that all the users can only have access to the home page, so this page we have here, and to the registration area. However, the shop page and all of the products can only be accessible to those users that previously registered in our site. So only these users will be able to see all of the products and proceed to purchase them. So, to begin, the first thing that we need to do is create our membership plan. For that, let's go over to our dashboard. From here, we find G and we go to Membership. Now, to create our plan, we need to go over here to Membership Plans and click on this button, add new plan. To begin, let's enter our title, which in this case is going to be shop access. Perfect. Now for the configurations, let's go over to the permissions section. From here, we will be able to set which contents will be restricted and accessible only to our members. So first, let's go over here to pages and enter in this field, which ones will be accessible to our members. In this case, we want to allow them access to our shop page right here. And also, we need to go over to the products area. And from here, we're going to include all the products. Perfect. Now we're ready to publish our membership plan, but we still need to go over to our journal options to finish the configurations. We will start here by enabling this first option to automatically assign new users to specific membership plans. What this means is that our users will not have to purchase any products to have access to the plan. Only by registering in our site, they will become members automatically. So let's enable this and then we will find this new field. From here, we're going to select which plan will be assigned to our users. So of course, we search for shop access. Here we have it. Perfect. Next, on this option, how to manage access to restricted content it is very important that we select this option to hide content so all the non-members will be redirected to an error page. Now let's move on over here to the shop options and I will stop on this one. How to manage access to restricted products. In this option, it is also important that we select this one so only the members can view the products. With this, we are now ready to save the options so we can go ahead and see the result. This time, I'm going to open our site as a non-member. This time, over here in the menu, we can see how we no longer have access to our shop page. And even if we try to access directly with a URL, for example, let's enter here, shop, we will be redirected to an error page. Now, let's go back. In this case, as non-members, we only have access to our homepage and to the registration area, which we can access either from this link in the menu or from this button. And there are actually a couple of reasons why in this case, this button is appearing in our site. To show you, let's go back for a moment to our dashboard. Over here in the menu, we can find sliders. And this is because we're also using in our installation, our free plugin JIT slider for page builders. Now, if we access it, we have already created our home slider. Let's have a look. Here we can manage it, so let's go edit. And here we have the button I was telling you about, which we have already configured so it appears automatically for non-members. 
If you would like to achieve a similar result, you can always request for help from our support or also contact a developer to achieve this configuration. Now let's go back to our site. OK, let's go ahead and register, either from this link or let's try it from this button. Once I click on it, we will see this pop-up window. The reason is because our button is actually linked to a specific URL. But the other reason why we're seeing this login and register form in this way is because we're also using our plugin GIF Easy Login and Register pop-up. Now, to proceed, all we need to do here is enter an email address or a username. I will go ahead with this one. And now we need to click on continue to complete the registration. Now that we have completed the registration, we can see how the menu has changed. The login register link has disappeared as well as the login register button we previously had here. Instead, we have gained access to our shop page and to my account. So as members, we are now able to go over to the shop and have access to all of the products. Of course, if we open any of them, for example, this one, we will be able to add it to cart and proceed with a checkout. As you can see, it is very easy to configure a private shop similar to Privalia, where only the members have access to the products using our plugin GIF membership. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.